Hi, uh, I want to do a, a tutorial on how to find certain elements in the Music Maker theme for CSS to change certain things. Um, I'm always getting emails of people asking me how to change the color of something, how to hide something, um, and I want to show you guys what you could do to try to find it on your own. Alright, so first, um, I'm in Firefox. Um, and I'm putting on my browser because I use an extension or an add-on called Web Developer. Um, you can also find this plugin for uh, Google Chrome. Um, like I said, I'm using it for Firefox. So what you want to do is you want to add the extension or add-on into the browser that you are using. Um, I suggest Firefox or Chrome. I already have the plugin added, so um, it's helpful for me. So I suggest that you add it. So uh, what's so I'm working on this post right here, and this is like basic information for people that um to to do this stuff you have to have a basic understanding of CSS, and um, I, I'm providing simple CSS elements of how to do certain things, how to change a font color, how to change a font size, how to change a background color, and so as I explain some of these things, I want you to understand basic CSS. Um, the selector. So this is a H1. This is a, a header. Um, and then the code that will change it. So there's a property and a value. So color being the font color and blue being the color blue, um, or it could be a number. And so it's gonna make that font color blue. And you can see font size, property being font size and the uh, value being 12 pixels. So let's look at some of these things and we're gonna visit some of these elements that I have. So uh, I'm looking at the Music Maker theme and let's say I want to change the the header of the widgets so what I'm gonna do with this uh, developer tool I have this bar I'm uh, showing because I have the developer tool turned on so I'm gonna go to CSS and I'm gonna go to display style information and then this big window appears and so then I can roll over elements and um, and you can see like a box appears and so let's say I want to click the header and so when I click the header, information of um, the, the widget header appears over to the left. So this is like all the different CSS that affects that. Um, but you want to look for specific items that are controlling this. So I'm going to scroll down. Yeah, headers, H3. This is what you want to find. So H um, widget, H3. So what I want to do is I want to copy this. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go back up to here, and I'm going to click CSS and I'm going to click edit CSS and I'm going to click embed styles and so what this does is this gives you the option to edit CSS live to see how it could look so I'm going to paste this in here um, so there are certain elements that I want to change so let's say um, I want to make uh, the font size bigger so look at the header so the font size is 15 pixels right now I'm going to make it 20 and let's say, so I don't, I don't want to change the font weight, so I'm going to delete it. Let's say I want to change the font color. Let's say I want to make it red. Um, I'm going to put in red right now. And you can see it turn red. Uh, so you, need to, you only need to copy over elements that you're trying to change. So um, I don't need all this. Let's just say I, I just want to change the header. Let's say I want to change the background color of the widget. I'm going to go to style. I'm going to select the widget box. And you can see that this uh, is this widget. So I'm gonna I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to Edit Style, and I only want to change the background color. So I don't see background color. Well, I do see background color. So right there is white, right here. So let's say I want to change it to black. Black is uh, zero zero zero. And you can see it turn black here. And let's say I want to change the the color of this text. So let's say I want to change it to white. It's going to be color. And it's going to be three Fs. One, two, three. And you can see a change right there. Uh, and another thing that happens with this plugin is so when you're editing CSS live, it uh, disables certain things. So it it you can see it it, it broke the um, the icons. It broke some of the icons here, but this is only temporarily while you're editing code. So let's say that this code is fine, and I um, I want to add this to my site. So so a couple of things to keep in mind. Um, so say you change the widget code. 
you have to know that this applies to all pages on your site. Um, so all widgets will be black um, with the background, the text would be white. So you can see well, certain elements are not. So let's, let's say, so this should be a different color, right? So style information. And this is how you could, you, you, could, you know, uh, pick certain elements. So I'm going to select this. I have style information selected. I'm going to select the text. And let's see what's controlling it. So it's span. Um, it's this text right here. I'm going to copy and edit this. I'm going to go edit. And then I'm going to paste this. So the font color is uh, 33333, which is a dark gray. I'm going to put it as 2, 3. I'll uh, put it at 3Fs. So now that is white. So this text is still gray. So I'm going to go style information. And I'm going to select this. And it's this element right here. I'm going to copy it. It's, I want to say this is a trial and error. Sometimes it doesn't always work. Um, you may have to find other elements. So color, I'm going to delete that other code that I don't need. And I'm going to update this color to 1, 2, 3, 3 Fs. And so now you can see that's all white. So let's say we want to make this, this area um, black as well. I'm going to uh, select this main div. And so certain elements, like I said, can control different things. So left side can be a color, but, but we, what we want to do is look for the main because we can see that this is controlling the background color. So the back color or main, which is this main box, is white. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to copy it and um, I'm going to bring it to the edit screen. And so I just want to change the background color. So I'm going to go uh, three zeros, change it to black. And I don't need this other information. We only want to keep the information that we're going to change. So if you're not overwriting like margin left 10, then you don't need to copy it over. All right, so now the page header is is not readable. I'm going to go to, I click style information and I'm going to select the header. And I, so there's a lot of different headers. So we can see that H1 right here is the font size. We don't want to change the font, we want to change the color. Font H1 right here is the font, uh, actual font. Um, we don't want to change that either. We want to change the font color. So we're looking for what has the font color. So it's H1 content header and color is right here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to click edit screen and I'm going to paste this and I only want to change the the font color so I'm going to clear all this out and I'm going to go 3Fs and you can see that that has changed so let's say we're happy with all this well and first I want to say maybe clean up your code a little bit so before you paste it into the theme options that um, it's a little easier to follow um, so I would just I would just tiny it up so it, you don't just have like a long uh, list of CSS code. So I would definitely clean it up a little bit. But let's I'm not gonna do this for this um, video. So say that this code is like looking good and you want it. Um, next, you want to copy this, and I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna go to theme options. And under the appearance tab, we have the custom CSS. And I'm just going to hit save. And let's visit the site. And you can see that the header is uh, white. The background widget is um, dark. The headers are, are uh, red. So something else that I see that's bothering me right now is this underline that maybe I don't want it white. I want it a darker color. So I'm going to go to CSS, I'm going to go to display style information, I'm going to select this header, and let's look for what's controlling this um, border underline. And so we can see right here, under H1 header, there's a border. So let's say I want to change to a different color, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to CSS, edit CSS, embed, I'm going to paste this, and I only want to keep the border color and let's say I want it to be a dark gray because I want I still want it to be there but not like stand out so I'm gonna do 333 three, three, which is a dark gray and say we want the same treatment for our widgets um, I'm gonna style I'm gonna select the header 
widget h3 so I'm going to copy and paste that and right here so I'm only keeping the border color I'm going to make that 3 3 3 1 2 3 so you just see that it just changed right here um, there's another so like these are random elements certain CSS controls different elements so here's another line and maybe that I want to change style I'm gonna click this right here because I want to I want to change this uh, white line to something else so you can see this element right here controlling it I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna edit and I'm gonna move this code I only want the the border color it's gonna be three three three. You can see I changed it right here. So um, once again, I would so with these three elements that I just changed, I will copy that over and paste that to the theme options. If you're more advanced with CSS, you can clean up the code a little bit more. So since that all this code is doing the same thing, so this is the page header, um, and this is the widget header, and this is that other um, element that's this line right here. I can merge all the elements. So I could go uh, widget. So where, where I have this the, the H1, I'm gonna go comma and I'm gonna paste that that code. And then with this other um, element, I'm gonna go I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go comma and I'm gonna paste it in there as well. And I could delete this. And so this line of code is the header, the widget header. In that line, the bottom border is all that that um, 333, which is a dark gray. So I can copy that, and I'm gonna close this. And under the theme options, I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna refresh. So with this refresh, these lines should update. So you can see that the lines updated. All right, um, let's get a little more specific. So say I want to hide an element on a specific page. So let's say I want to hate I want to hide the page title just on my B store. What I'm gonna do is I'm a I'm a view source source code, and I want to look into the body. So there there these are all the the different CSS elements um well classes, um but I want to find the page ID. So it's page ID number fourteen. I'm gonna copy this, and I'm going to edit CSS. So I'm because I want to see how it looks live. So I know it's um, page ID 14. So I'm gonna copy that, and I need to add the hashtag in front of it. And I know that the page header for all the pages is a H1. So I'm gonna go H1, and I'm gonna put in these brackets. So to hide something is gonna be display and none. And that didn't work. Sometimes you need to put important to overwrite something. Page ID. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a class. It's not. So, so I don't need that important. Um, so it's the it's the class which is a uh, page ID 14 H1 being the header, um, and then I have it to display none. So that's how you can hide something on a specific element on um, page. So let's say, I'm trying to think of other examples of where you guys may need this. Um, I don't know. Let's say uh, I want to change the audio player color. I'm gonna go to uh, click this and display style information. This is the audio player. Some of the play buttons aren't appearing right now. So where is the background color? This is the audio player. I'm gonna select this code. I'm gonna go to edit. So I just want to change the background color. Background color is transparent right now. I'm gonna put in red. You, you should put in a number. Um, I'm gonna remove this other code. So it didn't change red. Um, sometimes certain elements of CSS do not change because of the order of how CSS is loaded. So red isn't appearing because um, so if there's some other CSS overriding it, so I'm gonna put import it here, and I know this is gonna work. And you can see it right here. So I'm I'm gonna copy this code. So this is the code for the header to hide the header, and this is the code for the audio player. 
And, and sometimes you want to also add CSS um, comments to your code so you know what it is. So that would, a, a CSS comment looks like this. Um, then I'm going to put audio player. And I'm going to end it. And you close the comment like that. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to the theme options panel. And I'm going to update. And I'm going to refresh. So the page header is gone. And you can see the audio player has been updated to red. So I hope that that's helpful on how to change certain elements. Um, once again, um, by display, uh, selecting display information, you can find all types of little information. Um, if you want to you know what, how the genre color um, in the audio player, you know the font size and color, widgets, a lot of the information can be found with this tool. So it's very helpful. And I'm just going to show that like I could delete all this code. And I'm going to save it. Whatever is put into the theme options panel will overwrite the code that's in the Music Maker theme. I'm going to refresh. And everything is back to uh, how it initially was. So check out this post. This post has you know, some different elements, how to hide something, how to change the font color, font size, background color. And also, you know, just in general, if you go to the uh, CSS tips and tricks, it has tons of um, elements of how to do certain things. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. So it's kind of long and rambling, but uh, it's a lot of information to try to pack into a lot of, you know, a, a video. So thanks for watching.